Can I like roll to shank Ross? This early? <laughs> what? Can I check my backpack? You want to check your backpack, dude? Aren't you seizing on the ground right now? I choose to comfort Jerry by putting him in my warm fur. <laughs> okay. And you spawn a packet of ketchup, demon. What is his name? Heinz. Uh. <laughs>
notice there are metal bracelets attached to them with a digital screen. Jerry's begins to beep. A button highlights on the bracelet. I want to push Jerry's button. No. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I want to no, 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 push the button. Real quick, real quick. How do you guys want to do turns? You want to go down the list here? Like Jerry Max? Yeah, we go down the list. list. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. You want to press your bracelet? Yeah. Okay. I hope you fail. Okay. So you press the button on your bracelet and a hologram of your mission briefer, Otto, pops out of it. Greetings, cadets. So glad you folks have finally made it out to the Macchiato Desert. If you search Ross's backpack, you'll notice I've supplied all of you with canteens, knives, and a copy of each of your religious affiliations holy scriptures. I'm sure you're interested in your nifty wristwear, but you'll have to play around with them, so let's cut to the chase. That pyramid in the distance is the burial ground for the historically famous King Todd, or Carmel for the layman. Normally, the dancers would never disrupt any ancient burial tomb, but implanted in his grave is a precious artifact known as the Mortar of Life. We're not quite sure what it is so is significant about it, but we know we want it, for research that is. Who knows, maybe it has DNA residue on it, or Todd's ancient creamer. I'd bring a black light. <laughs> Cadets, do the dancers a favor and go get it, but be careful. King Carmel was known as an excellent barista, able to make caffeinated products out of most liquids. So keep your senses peeled and good luck. Otto, out. Are you going to have trouble with all this coffee related uh, adventures? It you sounds like, like you might. You seem like you not, yeah. might not. I did mention like a well. barista. I need an EpiPen. <laughs> I would like to try and take Ross's backpack without him looking. I want to switch backpacks. Um, Ross, what would your be response? As a jazz enthusiast, I would kind of go for a shove. What does that mean? <laughs> Rolling for Max. Rolling for Ross. Ho, ho, ho. Ross, by the power of the saxophone, you shove Max <laughs> away from you as he attempts to grab your backpack. Wow, power. Dude, rude, man. I just want the luck. Why'd you grab for it? I don't know. It said they got stuff in it. Well, I'll we all, take it out. We all have knives. <laughs> Taking out your knife, dude, already? You can becoming armed? Can I, like, roll to shank Ross this early? <laughs> what? <laughs> Not this early? <laughs> in, like, a uh, minute uh, in. Uh, I just realized I had a knife, so it's like... You're a wolf! I mean, I might not hit it, Ross. I might not. I'm gonna say fair game for any of my Let's do it, let's yeah. do it! Yeah, sure, YOLO. <laughs> You know, I want to defend with a canteen. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a little knife fight. <laughs> I can do. They actually have a canteen. They have a knife fight the in knife. the desert in Dune. Yeah. It's just like this. I'm rolling for it. There you gonna cost okay. us water. You go to stab Ross, but Ross holds up his canteen and and the knife slips through the metal of the canteen. But Ross's water begins to spill out onto the sandy desert ground. Well, at least it's Ross's water. I'm okay with it. Oh, it's it's gonna <laughs> be pookie, so I'm gonna was, drink that one. It was just a little play, dude. I just, <laughs> there was I just four, there's out four canteens. <laughs> yeah, nothing like starting canteen. out the, the adventure with trying to stab your, your friend. I thought, it, I thought we should just have some high spirits, just playful, just to all uh, <laughs> just a little. Goof? I mean, you want to know what's a good goof? We need a good goof in jazz tune behind this part. Before anything happens, I think we should decide who a, who the leader is. I don't have a face, so you guys want to roll for a leader? I, do, I didn't want to roll for a leader. All right, everyone but Pookie. <laughs> All right, rolling for Jerry. I'm not gonna follow a cheeseburger car. <laughs> rolling <Right>. for Max. <laughs> Guys, this is Rolling a for Ross. car. Why would we follow oh a car? Oh my god. I don't want to be a leader, leader, but I also don't want to be a Ross leader. Ross is the leader! Jump. Come on! I try what to stab fuck? Ross. You guys all butt heads in a group and everyone falls over except Ross. He is now the, now the new leader. Oh oh I want to observe god. my surroundings. I didn't even want to be a leader, so I, maybe I won't be a follower <laughs> you, either. You do I'm, that. I'm, That's I'm your current trait, so you do right. that. You do that. For Perception check. No perception check. That's your trait. Oh. You get it. Okay. What's uh? <laughs> I, what do I see around? You see a uh, just a sandy desert and a triangular shaped building in the distance. I think we should head for the triangle, gang. All right, guys, hop on my buns. 
Are you guys Ooh, riding? You could ride, you, you could, you could ride Max to the pyramid. Strength check to see if I can carry all of them. One can mount me as I am a wolf, and one can wait, mount wait, you, you as you are an animal. Y'all you have any thing. statistics like strength or? or I, I'm, I'm, I know. I just want to see if I can carry all, the, all these. The people. power of the dice. I want to uh, ride yeah. on Pookie. I'm gonna say only. I'm gonna Pookie. say Pookie. With only one of them. The lightest person can be on your back. I'm a little schoolgirl. I'm a little schoolgirl. Jerry, Jerry, you can hop on my back, and Ross can glomp Pookie. Glomp right on Wolf Poogie. Or at least we have some tunes while on our way. I'll hum up some uh, Louis Armstrong. So you guys would like to uh, head over to the uh, triangular shaped building in the distance? Yeah, I'll drive yeah. on over there. I shall, uh, I don't know, Wolf Zoo. Uh, pounce. Run. Pounce. They uh, run. Pookie. Gallop. <laughs> That's a horse. <laughs> All right, we head on over to the pyramid. So you trek your way in the sand to the pyramid and approach it after a couple of hours. The structure is raised Ooh. incredibly high for the time it was built. Who could have built this? There's no way man could have developed a method. As you approach the opening at the bottom of the dirt triangle, a mysterious figure wearing a green apron approaches you outside of the entrance. Pookie, go up to him. I push Pookie in front of him. I, I think, yeah, I think Pookie should go. I don't have a face. I don't even have sharp teeth, but I'll say hi. Any resistance, Pookie? I'll, I'll go. I'm walking okay. up and I wave at the uh, the green cloak person. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, you wave at him he? and he, he approaches you and goes, would you like a free sample? Yes, please. He holds out a tray made of clay with one small clay shot glass with a hot brown liquid in it. I drink how, it. How does I want it? Yeah. Not here. <laughs> I hear. Jerry, like... Jerry, you want to take it? Pookie, any, it. any, any resistance? I, I don't know how D and D works. Can I roll for like intelligence to see what's inside or something? Is that a thing? You don't. You don't have intelligence. It's just oh. power of the dice. Okay, Ring Jerry, you it. take it then. Sure. <laughs> I hand it to Jerry. No resistance. No resistance. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see how Jerry does. I want to chime in that I don't think this is a good idea, fellas. Aren't you allergic to coffee? <laughs> oh, yeah. You it could are. be coffee, Jerry. Are you, sure? you are. Are you, sure? you are. That's, a, I'm, I'm, that's the point. I'm going to do a minus two on this roll, even though you failed already. So you go to drink the uh, the clay shot glass of hot brown liquid, and you spill it all over your clothes, and it sifts through your clothes and onto your skin, and you begin to break out in hives. I would like to check oh, the bag no. for an EpiPen. Okay. You go to search the bag for an EpiPen and you find one that's been used. I stick it in that's Jerry. Worth. Any resistance, Jerry? No. <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> so you stick the used EpiPen into Jerry. It's actually very effective. Uh, you're surprised, yes. but there is apparently enough uh, insulin He's left alive. in the pen for you. Wait, not insulin. What's in an EpiPen? <laughs> Medicine. Oh like Whatever it is. Whatever. <laughs> it worked. It worked. It worked. You're good oh. now. I, the burger saved your life. How did I search through a bag with wheels? <laughs> uh, I used my mouth. Yeah. Yep. Yes, you did. <laughs> the, the leaves of lettuce you have are just, they make perfect for grasping things. <laughs> Additionally, uh, because your breakout has been cured, you've gained Gain resistance to hot liquids, Jerry. Oh, you're welcome. Remember what I've done for you. Coffee, paid though. forward. You're... Can I can I give Ross a nice sensual back massage and convince him to go in the pyramid? I I resist slightly because I think we should check around the entire base. <laughs> What is Roz again? Is he human? I don't even. Yeah, remember. I'm just a. I'm a jazz You're just a guy. Yes, you're just a guy. Okay. <laughs> I rolled a ten. I don't. I don't know what to even result here. Um, Max, you rub Ross so sensually that somehow everyone's convinced yeah, to take a, a trip boner. around the base of the pyramid. Wait, we take a trip around. The, how long did that take? Three and a half hour trek around the base of the pyramid, and you come. Can back. I roll for a rest? We rest for a bit. I listen to uh, some jazz tunes. <laughs> like mid walk. Mid walk. Yeah, yeah. After put we on some okay. Bud Powell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, you guys totally took a rest and and uh, wasted another hour and a half on the back end of the pyramid. <laughs> oh my god, guys, it's You're hot out here. To the, to the front, that shadowy figure is gone. All that's left on the ground is a green apron. I take it. I want it. Let's see. Will it fit? Thank you! You pick up the green apron. What would you like to do with it? I want to put it on my burger head because I don't have a body. Okay, the dice the dice knows what's up. Uh, so you attempt to put the apron on your burger head and it rips in half. Oh my god. Okay, oh, then no. I give one half to Jerry and one half to Pookie. What the heck? Oh, You're the leader for this, boys. 
I want I'm I want gonna, it. I'm gonna put it around my head to protect from the desert sun so I don't die. I'm gonna use it as a headband like a ninja. That's what I said, but I said it but it, in like <laughs> a, a, an effective good way. Jerry attempts to put the apron on and it's too big for him and just slips over his entire body back onto the ground. Pookie attempts to put it on and accidentally eats it. How do you eat it? He doesn't have a face. I want to I want to pick uh, up the he, eats, he eats through his hiney. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you oh. put it in your butt? Reverse human centipede kind of thing. Fair enough. <laughs> Let's go with the pyramid. Ross, right, we got to go to the pyramid. pyramid for hours. Uh, I decide we should go on the pyramid. Yeah, fuck you. Shut up. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard of Jimmy Smith? Ross, stop Googling names of chess people. <laughs> Love to fly with me. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. What was his name again? It was, uh, it was, um, <laughs> Frank Sinatra. Frank. He closed the tab out. Fly me. <laughs> Let's go in the f pyramid. <laughs> There's a long, dark tunnel that you guys enter in, and I wouldn't really progress without some light. The smell of bean exits the opening, and you suddenly feel energized. Ross's bracelet begins to blink. I push it. I resist and <laughs> smack my wrist against the wall. Okay, rolling for Max, rolling for Ross. <laughs> Max somehow holds himself in front of Ross and presses the button on his bracelet, <laughs> and a flashlight comes out of it, lighting the dark tunnel. Oh, oh we can see now. That. I push the button again. It turns off or something. You go to press the button again. I want to push they, it uh, again. You go to press the button again, and the light begins to start strobing in the tunnel. Can we get a seizure check for everybody? All right, I'm Jerry. Okay, I don't have a face. Check. I can't even see this. But yeah, Pookie's immune. <laughs> seizure check. Wait, what, wait. If you pass the roll, you have a seizure. If you fail the roll, you, you have a seizure. You want me to have a seizure? <laughs> That's your call. Fail. I'd say fail. Yeah, fail. Jerry is seizing. Max, you're good. Oh, no. Uh, Pookie, you're good. Right. Ross, you're good. Uh, everyone except the sweetest schoolgirl is just seizing. Oh probably, probably. Jerry's got epilepsy. Of coffee in the air. Jerry, you're having a lot of health problems, and, uh, to be honest. Yeah, did the, you even be the here? Light too. Why did we bring you? Why did we bring a small <laughs> Swedish a girl with I'm a just a allergies? normal person. I'm not even like, yeah, I don't have a special ability. I actually hey. have an allergy. Why did we bring this, you? This Swedish schoolgirl is also a member of the Desert Dance. Maybe instead of giving us a morale boost, you should just turn off the strobe. Yeah, Very this light surprised. is still strobing, by <laughs> the way. The, the tunnel. All right, you attempt to press the button. I push it twice. And <laughs> you press the button twice and it returns back to its normal flashlight mode. Can I check my backpack? You want to check your backpack, dude? Aren't you seizing on the ground right now? Yeah, I want to see if I have like some shades or something. I choose to comfort Jerry by putting him in my warm fur. <laughs> and I resist. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm seizing. laughs> it's going to be a hard one to beat. I'm sorry, but yeah, uh, Pookie Ooh. snugs up against you and comforts you back to Hush normal. Now, or, Pookie, no, give, us right, no. give us a nice little Purr. Just keep, let, keep me seizing. Uh, let me. Uh, <laughs> the wolves purr? Let me Quiet the now. Wolves purr? I don't know. Get it's spooky. You're no longer seizing now, at least. We I should continue down the hallway, gang. <laughs> Hop on my burger buns, little Swedish girl. I'll protect you from the strobes. Before we progress, is it true that you're a twerk god, Mr. Wolf? It's true, young jazz man. Can I see you twerk? Play me some tunes, play me a little ditty, and maybe I play, you'll see uh, some magic. I play Fly Me to the Moon. I roll for a sick freestyle dance. Okay. I'm rolling for sick freestyle dances? You know, I'll give you a plus five for this. <laughs> <you're Yeah>. right. <laughs> <laughs> you twerk so hard to this, it's pretty good. All right, Ross now we can head in. Excelsior, let there be light. You make your way down the tunnel. The stench of a bean becomes stronger, and you all begin to have a head rush. It's almost euphoric. You find yourselves at an intersection. There's no indication of what each path leads to, just hieroglyphics. Pathway on the left is inscribed with an owl, a cat, and a jackal, as well as a destiny logo. <laughs> the middle has three flame glyphs. Lastly, the right shows a man figure, a woman figure, and a baby. You notice a piece of papyrus on the ground. Someone has been here before. You take a look at it, and it looks like someone has translated the hieroglyphs. Taking a look at it, the left pathway translates to die. The middle cannot be translated. 
and the left translated to the bean reserve. I want to push Pookie down the left path. I think we should put Jerry down. Wait, <laughs> anything but the coffee path? I think he's safer down the death path than the coffee That's path. That's also fair. Honest. I vote we put the girl oh, was, in, the, in the left path. Was what? the papyrus on the ground the hieroglyphs? It was the translation of the hieroglyphs. I vote Jerry goes to the die room. Yeah, definitely safer over? down that way than the coffee. Go check it out. But I'm immune now, aren't I? To hot, hot drinks. Yeah, to hot drinks, not liquids. coffee. Go check it out, Jerry. Right, You're I mean, safe. If it's I'll go down hot. the death path. Okay. You voluntarily go down the death path. Do you guys all group up and shove him down the hallway? Do you guys follow <laughs> yeah. him or? No. <laughs> so Jerry, you f I'm sorry. You, there's there's no way you'll you'll beat a 19. I'm sorry. Yes, I can. <laughs> uh, you got a 10, buddy. <laughs> so you follow the pathway for whatever reason, and you find yourself in a room glowing in a faint light blue light. A puddle of white liquid is found in the middle. There's a stone oh. pipe leading oh. out from a wall. It's dripping with the same liquid. Drink Drink it. Oh. No. What? Why would I drink this? <laughs> I'll dip my finger and taste it. I won't drink it though. Okay, so as you walk towards the puddle, you step on an unavoidable pressure plate. A All large right. stone door slides behind oh. you and traps you in the room. The blue light in the room turns red and starts strobing and you begin <laughs> to start seizing again. Oh, the really? pipe starts flooding the room with more of that white liquid. There's no way out. Why would you go this way? The room <laughs> progresses to flood slowly, covering your knees up to your neck and finally over your head. You're totally in over your head. You're drowning. Your bracelet begins to beep vigorously and produces an afterlife white light and covers your sight. You appear back at the intersection as if nothing has happened. Oh, Seems like that is a pathway chilling. to avoid. Hey, man. Good check. Good check, buddy. <laughs> Someone else go down a different path. There's four of us in three paths. Oh, what if I hide inside Max's burger? He, he travels through the coffee path. That could work. I'll be shielded. You stepped on an unavoidable pressure plate. I feel like as a burger car, it would still be unavoidable. No, not that path. The, uh, the, so the, the, co oh, you the coffee down, path. If you go down that route again, nothing changes, I promise. Wait, 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 Ross, hear me out. What if you go down that path and try to drink the liquid before it, it like covers your head? I think I'm, we should I go just, another I'm way. I'm just going to say three words real quick. <laughs> Out of one of my pressure plates. <laughs> yes, thank you. Go. Good job. Fair enough. All right, Jerry, hop in my buttons, and I'll bring you down the uh, the coffee path. The, the bean Magical reserve force blocks you from going down the coffee path. Maybe explore another route first. All right, I'm gonna right, push Jerry the into the f into the magical barrier, trying to push him through it. I'm not rolling for that. It's magical, okay? <laughs> None of you have magical powers. Fine. What was the middle path called again? That's it. Had flames. It has no okay. translation. It just has three flames glyphs on it. Ross, you want to go that way? Yeah. All right. Have fun. So just Ross? Is yeah, yeah else I'm waiting here. I mean, I'd go with him. You want me to come, Ross? Yeah, anyway, I say we all go. I'm going to stay behind. Leader. I'm going to stay behind. Now. I got to rest I'm, my buns. All right. I Ross hold Ross's leader, hand. He gets, plus, he gets a plus five on his roll to see if everyone joins him. All right, it's 21. Everyone goes with him. What the fuck? Nice. What? <laughs> a lot of people. I make the rules here, okay? All right, everyone's going. Here we go. The middle, the middle path, right? <laughs> Not knowing of what is to come, you proceed down the center route. You follow a series of uneven stairs and paths and finally come across the next area. You enter a small room with a lone flame idling on a torch. Upon gazing upon the room, you notice a somehow possible patch of wheat, a puddle of water, a grinder made of stone, a clay pan with divots, and a stone enclosure. It looks like some sort of baking mechanism. There's a door on the opposite side of the room with an impression in it. So who here likes cooking? I mean, I, I find that quite offensive actually as a burger. I That's think even problem. with your burger arms, you must be a great cook. I'm not even. A, I don't have Max. any arms. I have wheels. I think we should send Max. What am I, I gonna I do? Agree. <laughs> send him where? <laughs> to open the thingy, right? Uh, I don't have any arms. Bro, you can use your no. lettuce's hands, Max. Oh. Don't worry. Damn it. We won't take away that ability from you. Fine, I'll go. I'm, I'm in the room. I, I pick up some of the wheat. I put it in the grinder. I shout, I ooh, ooh. I think we should roll. If you go to pick up the wheat, out. but it slips through your lettuce fingers. Somebody else, we <laughs> do this. All right, I vote Pookie next. Any resistance? I go willingly. Okay, what would you like to do? I pick up the wheat with my hands, my claws, and I put it in the grinder. Okay. 
and I start grinding and twerking. You gotta pick up the wheat with your paws, and <laughs> you can't grab them because you don't have thumbs. You're a <laughs> wolf. <Holy. laughs> let, let, let me pick up the Swedish wheat. Girl. All right, all right. Pick up the Jerry, wheat. I'll turn. pick up the wheat. I'm trying to avoid doing it, so. <laughs> I'll pick up the wheat, and I'll put it in the grinder. Oh my god. You go to pick up the wheat, but accidentally trip and fall and smash your face into the ground. <laughs> oh, nice. It's a classic. Ooh, Ross, go there. pick up the f wheat! You're, you're, you can your do nose it, Ross. is bleeding. I want to try to pick up the wheat, but with my mouth and place it into the grinder. Like, no, hey, like my hands are behind my back. Yeah, like bobbing. Yeah. Like a chicken. Like a chicken. Oh, Before he does that, this. I give Jerry a piece of my lettuce to put over his bloody nose. Thank All you. Alright, hold on a second. You hand Jerry a piece of your lettuce and <laughs> to, to help his bloody nose, and it does nothing. It's just a piece of lettuce in his nose. He's still bleeding, but with <laughs> lettuce hanging out of his nose. I take a poop in the corner. <laughs> what? Huh? You want Very wolf-like. It's, it's my nature. <laughs> All right, Pookie poops in the corner. It stinks. God <laughs> damn it! Oh, God. nobody took oh, the fucking dog out. All right, Ross, do your. Stuff yeah, do your mouth thing. Uh, I'll re-roll for Ross. You rolled a one initially. I can't. Oh my! You just rolled a two. I can't. Oh, this. oh my God! <laughs> Can I go again? I can't believe this. Ross attempts to pick up the wheat with his mouth and realizes he's not a wolf without a face and fails. Uh, I grab so it with I, my I need hand. to go. No, I grab do it this again. No, get, get, do another roll for Ross. He's doing it again. Okay, okay. Rolling for Ross until nope. he passes another one. What oh, the heck? Uh, nope. Just let another me do two. It. Another. Nope. Uh, Another I one. I punch what myself. Nope. <laughs> Another four. four? What is, where Let me all right, all right, all right, all right. I pick it up. I pick it up. I pick it up. Max, you. <laughs> Max, you. <laughs> you, <laughs> you can't do it. You what can't. The you just, <laughs> your lettuce hands suck. Who no, else was it? I go. I go. Jerry and I go together. Okay, team effort. You get plus five for that, okay? Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, it's not a nat 20, but it is a 20. The power of friendship in you. Both grab the wheat. What would you like to do with it? Oh wait, you're already doing. You're, you're doing the thing that everyone's trying to do. Yeah. You grab the wheat, and with the power of friendship, you put it in the grinder, and it grinds out some grinded wheat. Flour. Yeah, flour. That's what it's called. Nice. <laughs> don't right. get. Can I snort the flour in no. front of everyone? No, uh, please don't. Please, we've been stuck in this room for like an nice, hour. You're a nice Swedish girl. You don't need to be introduced. Can I to snort drugs. some of this uh, flour? <laughs> <laughs> you attempt to snort a line of the flour and gets absorbed by your nose and just clogs it, but it has cured your nosebleed. Can we put the rest of the flour in the water? Flour to water. I vote. I All right, vote group well. effort roll. Oh my God, it's lovely. You dip the flour into the water and you get a doughy substance. Do we have a cooking sub or cooking thing anywhere? I, I think I think there was like a pan somewhere. It'll remind you of uh, your surroundings here, even though Ross should be hyper yeah, fixated Ross, on it. I, I, perspective <laughs> piece of well, Oh I'm yeah, trying. Ross, what's your deal? <laughs> I have a notepad. I'm trying to take notes. What's your deal? Ross, bro? would you like uh, would you like to perception? Uh, yeah, I want to remember. Room? You don't have to roll for it. There is a small room room with a lone flame idling on a torch. Upon gazing upon the room, you notice a somehow possible patch of wheat, a puddle of water, a grinder made of stone, a clay pan with divots, and a stone enclosure. It looks like some sort of baking mechanism. There's a door in the opposite side of the room with an impression in it. So you want to put it in the clay pan with the divots now, I guess? Can we remove the lone flame? Like, is it a torch that we can move or is the flame like we can't move it? It's just there to keep the room lit. Otherwise, if it goes out, you will not see. Let's put it in the clay pan then. I was going to say we put it in the divot and then we cook it, but let, let's just put it. The clay pan is the thing with the divots. The Chuck door divot, there. I meant. Oh, Chuck the impression. In. Impress, yeah. Words. Okay. It's a nat 20. Let's go, boys. Round of applause. Finally. Hell yeah. Oh gosh. We almost had a nice toasty thing. Good job. I'm glad we rolled a nat 20 on a goddamn so you <laughs> flower and a <laughs> divot. You put the dough in the pan and shove it into the thing that looks like a baking mechanism mechanism, but you need to get it to cook. How do we turn it on? There's a lone flame in the middle of the room. Oh my gosh. Oh, Someone do we still have it. that green? Do we still have that green apron? We could fan the flame. Can I yeah, take, take it out of your ass? I take, the, I, I take it out of Pookie's ass. I already pooped. It's in the poop over there. Uh, all right, Pookie okay. goes gets Wait, it. What? Oh yeah, you no, ate it. You I wanted forgot. this. Oh, Pookie pooped, so you go get it. You ate it. Oh my God. Check the poop from earlier. Come on, go. someone go check the poop. Roll for who checks the poop. 
Well, Max, you already said you were going to go get it. No, I was going to reach into his ass and grab it. I'm not digging through poop. Max, you volunteered. Let's see here. <laughs> Jerry, Max. Oh, my God. Pookie, looking good. I might as well start going. Oh, and I'm gonna roll. oh, Ross, you got to check the poop. Yes! Oh, oh, Ross uh, reluctantly goes over to the pile of poop in the corner of the room and sifts through it. Let's take a look here. And he finds shredded pieces of an apron that have been digested by a wolf. We got it, guys. What would you like to do with it? I hand it over to Max. <laughs> I don't accept it. I don't accept it. We're rolling. You resist? Oh, 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 you accept it. You accept it. You, <laughs> you want it. And what's you your the, plan the, with it? Ross hands you the shredded apron and you smile, loving yeah, every minute of it. Oh, we it. didn't know what you wanted with it. What do you want, want to do with it? I set the cloth on fire and throw it into the oven. Poop oven. Okay, Matt 20. <laughs> Let's go, Max. Hey, round of applause, guys. Nice. Poop Thanks. Yay. So Powerful you uh, light the shredded apron on fire and toss it into the baking mechanism, and the doughy substance starts baking within the pan. That's going to be a tasty burger. After some time, you hear a bell ring from the stone mechanism. Got it. Got it. Pookie. I check you walk it over out. to the stone mechanism and you check it out and it looks like your dough is done baking. I take it out. Should I eat it or should I do it something with it oh. with like the impression on the wall? Can I, I, I do something there? with it? Can I do something with it? What? Put it open and take a piece of cheese off of Max and a grilled cheese. <laughs> no, put it in the what? door. It might be like a key or something. I'm not. Put it in the door. Do we want to check that first and then we can see what you want? The door. Right. I put it in open the door. It. I put Open it in the, the, the impression or whatever. Okay. So you take the baked good that resembles uh, your dad fitting into skinny jeans and put it into the impression of the door. Look at that success. Somehow you've completed the impossible with the impossible. The door opens and it leads to a room with a stone pillar in the middle. It's covered in dust and dirt. Oh, snap. Looks like some sort of scepter might have sat on this. You notice there are fingerprints left on the pillar along with the residue of a sticky brown substance. There's no point of continuation from here. You make your way back to the intersection. Can I request a sneeze check from the dust in the dirt. Sneeze check for everyone? Yeah, to see if any of us sneezed. <laughs> Copy that. Why? <laughs> Jerry sneezes. He's very allergic to the areas in. All right. Max does not sneeze. Pookie sneezes. Ross, what? No. you don't sneeze. Okay. All right. I shove Ross as hard as I can down the dead path. <laughs> Ross, any resistance? Try, I try to flip around and throw Max in, like try to overpower. One oh, of us is going I'm a in. burger on wheels, mother I oh, listen to man. jazz. Oh man. Max pushes you down the <laughs> die path and all that <laughs> that happened before happens again and you wind up back at the intersection. <laughs> Wait, oh, wait. The, uh, the magical barrier on the right pathway has disappeared. Forgot That's what that. I was just nah. about to ask. Let's go, gang. All right, Ross is the leader. Does anyone want to resist Ross's leadership? I, I actually would like to re-roll for a leader. I think yeah. we, this is a democracy. I think Ross has been doing a piss poor job. Right, vote gotta, him out. Where's Ross, the emails? You got to beat Ross two out of three times to re-vote for a leader. Here we go. Let's do I'm it. I'm a lone yeah. wolf, dude. I, All right, I you know, can the join 19, the cause. Ross, is, Ross <laughs> rolls an eight. Wolf. You roll a nine, Ross rolls a 16. You roll a four, Ross rolls a four. We sudden death. You roll a nine, he rolls a three. There is a yes. new leader vote. I vote for Pookie. I'm a lone wolf, dude. I'm, I'm not part of your fudging government. <laughs> I, 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 I also vote out. for Pookie. Pookie, you've been voted in. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, I'm not making You're orders. The new leader. I, I go down this path. You guys can follow me if you want, but I'm going down this path. I would like to I follow, follow the, the leader. leader. Does anyone resist? No. I resist. <laughs> Pookie gets a plus five. You got to beat him. Here we go. You rolled a seven. Pookie rolled a 19. So you're going with him. Sorry. Oh, you fucking <laughs> Swedish girl. You make your way down the to the bean reserve. Along the walls are holes everywhere. They sound like they're vibrating. You take a peek into one of the holes. It's loaded with ancient insects. A closer listen to their vibrations. And you can hear an unknown smooth jazz track playing. How interesting. Look, Ross, who plays that song? Russell's I want to snap it. along to the beat. What song you is do it? that. You 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 do that. Like I'm not even rolling for that. You snap. 
app so good. I used Shazam. Got- I open up Shazam on my watch and I see think what that's some is. Miles Davis. Pookie, you uh, dial into your watch and uh, I check if uh, Ross you, is correct. You check Shazam to see if Ross is correct and he's actually not. Oh, get he's lying. Lying. <laughs> get Miles <laughs> Davis was a famous American oh. trumpeter. That's not Wait, his actually, guy. Yeah. Is, uh, hold on, like hold on. Let, right let me right. rewind. Let me rewind because Ross gets plus five on his roll for being oh, in Ross is a phony. Oh my he's god. A I'm sorry. Phony. Yeah, Ross is Ross is hundred percent accurate on who that artist is. He was inducted oh. into the Hall of Fame in two thousand six. Get off of Google. <laughs> okay, no one asks, so I continue. All right. Do you guys want to proceed down this hallway? I want to make sure Jerry's okay. Jerry, are you okay? I'm hanging in there. I'm okay. Because there's a lot of coffee smells, man. Do we have any materials to draw a face onto Pookie? You can check the backpack. I would like to check uh the backpack for my Bible. You think you I, have a Bible? Well, you said we have a religious scripture, so I'm assuming it's some sort of a Bible. So you dig into the backpack, you pull out your religious holy scripture, and it is the book of Satan. Oh, neat. I would like to study it. Okay. You begin riffing through the pages and you study it. You have a above average knowledge of the book now. And I try to summon a ketchup demon to help us. You attempt to summon a ketchup demon and you spawn a packet of ketchup demon. Like an imp. (laughs) Very tiny. What is his name? Hold on. I'm Googling (laughs) names for ketchup packets. Heinz. Uh, (laughs) His name is Dick. Dick. Okay. All right. Dick, go observe the room. Report back. Let's roll this. I'm sorry, but Dick only speaks uh, ketchup. (laughs) I'm a burger. Yeah, but you're like a different kind of burger, you know? What what the f*** is that? What kind of Roll to see what burger like I am. Ketchup, ketchup's like a like your blood. That's like saying like you don't speak blood. You know what I mean? No. Ch- roll to see what burger I am. This is important. Uh. Huh? Okay. You're you're a medium well burger. That's not like, good. But it's it's it, it's okay. It's not like <laughs> something to write home about. Pookie leader, what are we doing? We got <laughs> Dick over here. Just is he doing um, a little ketchup dance? Tell me he's doing a little ketchup dance. I step I, on uh, Dick. Dance. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you gotta step on Dick the ketchup packet, killing him, and but <laughs> slipping and falling. I <laughs> the take fun. the knife out and stab Pookie. Stop! Stop! And he resists I want to guard. I'm on guard. <laughs> no, I'm no resistance. Oh, no, I, no, I, I, oh, I resist no. and hope other people. <laughs> oh, dude, you both rolled 19s. That's crazy. We deflect okay, one more. One more. <laughs> Oh my god, a nat 20 from Pookie. Uh, You attempt to stab Pookie, but he catches the knife with his mouth and throws it down the hall. It's now gone. And I throw it at the fudging ketchup packet again. (laughs) I want to observe the room. The knife is now gone. Damn it! All right, you're going to observe the room again. Here we go. Okay, along the walls are holes everywhere. They sound like they're vibrating. You take a peek into one of the holes. It's loaded with ancient insects. A closer listen to their vibrations. You can hear an unknown smooth jazz track playing. How interesting. Do you wish to proceed? Yeah, Ross. What co- it says unknown jazz track. What is it, man? You should know. It's probably a different song. All right. Well, do we? How should we? Uh, the leader, where are we going, leader? I'm opening Shazam right now. You better <laughs> name this song. <laughs> where are we going? Down the hallway. I, uh, yeah. Any resistance? No. Okay. As you all proceed down the path, you step on a pressure plate, and thousands of scarabs are released from all of their homes. Run, ten. Oh. Uh, run. Uh, run, 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 You guys begin to start running and one of them nips at Jerry and you uncontrollably say some hipster bull like, I've been taking the train a lot to cut down on gas prices or I just got some new wheels from my bike that are made out of recycled cigarette butts from my dad. Stab the girl, stab the girl. That's so gay. No, 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 he's okay, he's okay. No, I gotta put him down. That's so gay. you're gonna... No resistance, no resistance. Oh my god, a nat 20 for Max. Uh, <laughs> what? You, st- you stab Jerry in the back as you're running down this hallway and he snaps out of his hipster bullshit. The scarab noises combine to produce a tone that isn't an unknown artist anymore. It's in fact the tune of world famous clarinet player, 
Kenny G. Yeah, we're like you Ross would know that. You the hallway and notice a door that is slowly sliding shut. The intensity of the clarinet is overwhelming. These scarabs are unhappy. Get out of my head, Kenny. You squeak through the door just in time. The scarab sound ceases. What have you done? You're now in a large room. There are six large piles of coffee beans that look like they may have been sitting there for a thousand years. The room is plated in ancient mirrors made from copper. The opposite end of the room has a gate. I take I the knife out of Jerry and give it to him back because I took his knife. I lick Jerry's wound <laughs> to nurse it. Back I, to take, health. I take pull some the of the blood. Uh, hold on real quick, real quick. You pull the knife successfully out of Jerry and hand it to him. It's covered in his blood. Can I take the blood and make a happy face on Pookie? <laughs> As long as I get to nurse your wound with my tongue. All right, hold on, I'll roll for that. <laughs> okay, you take the knife and you etch a happy face onto Pookie's you faceless <laughs> wolf face. You know and we'll go uh, with that. <laughs> Pookie tries to lick you, but realizes that the tongue you've drawn is not real. <laughs> you have a face, idiot. All right, we're in a new room. What do you guys want to do? Can any of us fit through the gate? Could you take me apart one piece by piece and push me through the gate? If we lift up his bundle. The gate has a screen. magical barrier surrounding oh, it. Do. It requires a key. <laughs> I pick up a handful of coffee beans and throw it at a mirror. Okay, Pookie. So you go to grab uh, some coffee beans from one of the piles, but before you can touch it, all six piles morph into bean jackals. They are not friendly. They're all equipped with bean swords and shields. One of them must have the key embedded in them. I pick Ross up and I throw it at the, the, the toughest looking bean monster. Ross, any resistance? Uh, I do resist. I try to fart. <laughs> It's not resisting. I try to like you deflect it and Hold fart. on a second. <laughs> okay. Wow. Ross with a nat 20. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> you attempt to pick Ross up and throw him at one of the bean jackals, but you you are unable to do so, and Ross just farts in return. <laughs> okay. Well, what are we going to do? I'm a fellow canine. I could attempt we to saw... converse with them and maybe persuade them to give I me I throw my key. knife. What the fudge, Ross? I'm a canine. Just let me do this. It's fine. Ross, I'm you ready throw to your throw. knife at one of the bean jackals and it takes damage real quick what what bean jackal did you throw that out of there's six of them one okay the, the first one takes damage all right we send pookie to go try diplomacy oh you try to you're gonna try I, to chat I with them and see if they'll just them give to, up yeah persuade them to give me the key as i <laughs> okay. canine. pookie steps in and attempts to reason with the bean jackals and they look at him and they look at the blood drawn face on his faceless <laughs> face they recognize him as one of them oh. they drop their guard. Pookie tries to get them to give him the key. They point to the fourth jackal in the room, but they do not drop a key. Okay. Should we all just right. all jump I tried to eat the fourth jackal. A hamburger eating a bean jackal. Okay. You attempt to bite at the jackal with your hamburger layers and are unable to do so. Should we all just overpower him with by numbers and jump on the fourth? I yeah, can't. I'm the... literally gonna die. Yeah, Jerry can't, can't do it, so we'll do three on one. All right. Three on one. All right. Attack the fourth. Okay. We, we all jump three on. times. 14. Fudge this jackal. All right, you guys did it. You guys did it. You all pile on the fourth jackal, kicking him, spitting on him, k kissing his face. It collapses to the floor and drops a key. Jerry, grab it. Grab the key, Jerry. All right, get grab it. I'll grab the key. I'll Let grab it. Go. <laughs> Put it in this, the thing. Jerry attempts to grab the key. It's slightly heavy for him, but he's able to get it off the ground. Oh, I'll open the gate as well. You go to slip the key into the gate and drop the key on the floor. Oh, it's now no. too heavy for you. I'll pick up the key and put it in the door. I want to pick up the key. I'm doing it first. Wait, hold on. Max versus Ross first. We'll see who gets it. Max, you rolled a one, so... Fudging salad fingers. <laughs> so Ross runs over to the key and picks it up successfully and fits it into the gate. The gate opens up and a large staircase proceeds down into the darkness. Some hieroglyphs are written on the wall before going down. You translate the glyphs. It says, watch your step, my dude. The macchiato people sure had strange lingo. I push Ross Would you like down, to go the down the staircase. <laughs> Ross, any resistance to that? I, 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 I resist and try and wait, do my wait, own Wait, no, 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 no. I secretly push him down. I shank Ross <laughs> while he's resisting. I don't think... Oh, my God. Oh Max rolled a nat 20. Let's no, go, boys. No, I push him down. 
<laughs> Max, uh, you push Ross down wait, the wait, stairs. Wait, 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 wait. Before you do that, can you check and see if Pookie stabs him on the way down? Sure, or sure. Shank him again. Pookie, you attempt to stab him, but end up hitting yourself in the thigh instead. I hate Somehow. <laughs> What the heck? Anyway, it was Ross a falls thing. down the staircase and it leads down into a large room with steaming brown liquid surrounding oh. the perimeter. In the middle is a mummified body in the fetal position. It looks hurt. You should help it. All right. Guys, we should help it. We cannot hear Ross, right? He's too down. Uh, let's roll for how loud he's shouting to you. It's a nat 20. Let's go, okay. boys. All right. You guys hear me? We carefully work he our way down. down. He shouts He shouts whatever the hell he just said up to you, and you guys hear him. I guess we all join him. All right, let's go. So you guys proceed down the staircase, and it leads also into that large room. All right, forget about the mummy. I don't care. What I want to do is I want to check to see if we have another EpiPen, and I want to convince Jerry to drink all of the liquid. Yeah, we could test to see if it's coffee by using Jeremiah. You don't need to test it. No, but you, you have resistance to hot liquid. What I'm definitely going Allergic to freaking coffee. Uh, which is why I'm checking for the EpiPen. Yeah, we'll see. Do we have uh, another EpiPen. Check for EpiPen? Yeah, check backpack? for another EpiPen. Yeah. You dig Jerry. your hands into the backpack and find a brand new EpiPen. There we go. We used, to, Got it. we used the freaking old one last time. Now <laughs> all right, Jerry, go drink all that liquid. Uh, just so you know that the, you have an EpiPen. You haven't used an EpiPen. I know, I know. We'll, we'll use it after. When he goes in the shock, we'll oh, use it. Oh, understandable. Yeah. Got it. I'm going to go drink the liquid. You're going to go drink it. Okay. Yep. So you lean over to the brown liquid surrounding the room like Augustus Gloop and Willy Wonka and um, you sip it and it's not hot for you, but tasty. You start breaking out in hives. Drink faster, <laughs> man. Drink faster. Going to continue drinking. Okay. I won't stop until it's all gone. You continue to drink it until it's all gone. Your body is covered in hives, but there's no longer any brown liquid surrounding the room. I stick the EpiPen right in his <laughs> chest. You're not supposed you attempt to <laughs> stab him with the EpiPen. It clears up 65% of the hives. Oh, right, you're good. That's good. You're, you're fine. I think we should send Ross to go talk to the mummy now. Okay, as you approach the mummy in the middle of the room to aid it, the being rolls over. It speaks. I want to pet it like a doggy. <laughs> You pet it like a doggy. He's a good boy. <laughs> oh, so true. I'm gonna pet Pookie like a doggy. Does Pookie get jealous? Uh, he also can't see you do it. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't. I don't speak mummy. Uh, I try to look for a spell in my my Bible to help translate the mummy. Huh? You flip through your satanic Bible looking for a translation. You find some things, but it's not clear exactly what he's trying to say. Since I speak telepathically, can I try telepathically speaking to the mummy? Sure. I try. You attempt to telepathically speak to the mummy, and you hear exactly what he said out loud. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you understand him, but nothing is translated. I think we need to get it some hot liquid, guys. Drink, um, drink just it a all. reminder here, you have a piece of papyrus that has translated things before. I punch the mummy in the head. <laughs> you attempt to punch the mummy in the head, but its skull blocks your punch. Damn it. Can I punch the mummy in the head? What are you again? Sweetest it's a dying girl. little Swedish girl. Dying <laughs> That's Swedish right. Girl. Yeah, you are. You you attempt to punch the mummy in the head with your Swedish schoolgirl fists, and it doesn't do much because you're a small Swedish schoolgirl. Oh. All right, I tried. We we'll check the papyrus, see uh, if it could help us out. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, I'm gonna do that <laughs> now. All right. <laughs> so you hand the translation over to the mummy, but it tears it up in front. Frustration and just nice pookie. You. <laughs> you no longer good. have the ability to read the glyphs. I'm sorry. Let's I'm get so some sorry. hot liquid. I want to throw Ross at the mummy. I throw Max Ross at again. the mummy. <laughs> you attempt to throw Ross at the mummy, and as you throw him at him, the mummy just turns into dust. And upon oh, inspection, it's sugar. Oh. Across the room is a rickety wooden staircase leading up to a doorway, shining a golden light. Oh, that was easy. Can we get a diabetes check on everybody? Diabetes well, check coming. He probably has it. Jerry totally has it. <laughs> <laughs> How are you not dead? Max, Max, you're on the verge of getting it. I'm pre-diabetic. I'm fine. Pookie doesn't have it. 
And Ross doesn't have it either. Good job, guys. Nice. You suck, Jerry. <laughs> How are you alive? <laughs> no, but the, 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 no one said this coffee had sugar in it, though. How, how do I have diabetes? <laughs> you, you were born with it. You have type 1 diabetes. Just like the, sugar that, the sugar that have like evaporated in the air. You breathed it in, and now you have diabetes. I breathe the most. <laughs> You snorted most, flour before, now you're snorting <laughs> sugar. Mr. Leader Wolf, can we go towards the bridge? Let's do it. All together. Okay. As a family. All right. As a pack. No <laughs> resistance. You all ascend the staircase on the other side of the room, but the weight of Pookie, it's just too much, and the staircase collapses. You all oh, take, no. uh, let me roll for this. You all take 19 damage each. Which health do we have? Like a thousand. Can oh, I? Okay. Sorry, before the, before I take <laughs> damage, can you, can you check and see if I land on my buttons? for I am a burger and shouldn't take damage. Yeah, that's cool. You, uh, you land on your apart. bones and your damage is split in half. Congratulations. Yay! He's a fudging burger. He's going to fall apart in like a million pieces. <laughs> I'll put myself back together again like Humpty oh Dumpty. God. There's no way up to the unknown golden room now, but you I notice that because you drank all the brown liquid that was surrounding the room, there is uh, a tunnel that has been revealed. Oh, Let's I head go for first. the tunnel team. I want to go in first, though, since I drank the liquid. Okay, Jerry attempts to hop down into where the brown liquid would be and begins to walk towards the tunnel and a new, uh, <laughs> just a new river of brown liquid fills up the area oh, and he dude. starts breaking out in hives again and gets tossed back into the middle of the room. Oh my god! We should, we should check if we have something for that. Nah, it's fine. Uh, what if we the, all you can still, stack? You wait, still wait, can see wait! The tunnel. I have an idea. I want to open my Bible and see if I can part the sea like satanic uh, Moses. I want to stack. I'm rolling that again. I don't. I don't want you to do that. I'm sorry. Oh wait, <laughs> what did I do it? Did I? What did I roll? What the? F did uh, I roll? You rolled an. You rolled an eight, man. I'm sorry. God damn it! What is the? It's a room filled with brown liquid. So there, there's it's a, a river of brown liquid that leads to a tunnel. Also, the staircase that you just traveled up was made of wood, and it just has collapsed, oh. and it's now the wood is all over any, the middle of the room. And any guys, any let's carpenters? build a ladder. Any no, Roz. <laughs> I, I agree with Ross. I'd like to build a ladder. There's a better uh, thing that we could build. <laughs> you attempt to build a ladder and it falls apart. Perhaps you can make a flotation device out of Holy this wood. Moly. I'd like to try again. Like a really tall ladder to get to the tunnel. <laughs> Whoa. You, build, you build a ladder. There's nowhere to put it. We build a boat. <laughs> like a Minecraft Let's boat. Let's ride the ladder as a boat to the fudging <laughs> tunnel. Yeah, I'm fine with We're that. Rolling for boat. <laughs> So success, you have a ship equivalent to a blow up oh raft God. with a slight leak in it. Do you wish to board? Put yes. Jerry in it. We should all go or else we'll be stranded. We only have so much right. wood. Anyone resist Pookie's leadership? I semi do, so I take off a, the top of my burger head and give it to Pookie to take with them so we weigh less. My nice. body stays behind. You roll I a nine. stuff Max's like whatever Pookie you rolled a 19. You, d you just don't do that. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you all attempt to, to board the ship, but it must have a name. No, you know, you know, you know, Jerry, you've been getting the, sh the short end of the stick. What do you want to name the boat? Everyone come up with a name and I'll roll who gets it. I want to name it uh, Cappuccino. I'm going to also okay. go with Cappuccino. Okay, Pookie. I'm going to go I thought, a, I thought a poop deck. Marshmallow Masquerade. <laughs> I was not even rolling. Ross wins and made me laugh the most. Yeah. <laughs> Some Marshmallow DM. Masquerade. You board the Marshmallow Masquerade and you take off into the unknown coffee river. It proceeds into a dark tunnel. Your bracelets begin to malfunction. You lose your vision. You hear the boat moving, but there's no way of knowing where the river is flowing or whatever that purple jacket chocolate friend had said in that one movie. Sounds of gulping echo down the chamber, followed by the relieved ah sound since that's what it's like to drink things. <laughs> Randomly, you hear someone or something yell, die! Your bracelets return to normal and your light is returned. Your boat arrives to a small platform with a wooden ladder. Hopefully learning from the last wood experience, you proceed up the ladder one after the other. <laughs> you reach the top and arrive in a room with some statue in it. Glyphs are inscribed on the pedestals, but you're idiots who trust strangers. It can't be translated. Okay. There's glyphs on a statue. Yeah, uh, can't be translated though. I touch a glyph. Okay, Pookie, you go up to the statue and touch the glyph. Guess what? You get another trait here. I was expecting to get the center. <laughs> yeah, so, so, this is a good so, so your faceless wolf body is normal, but you have baby doll legs now. <laughs> what the heck? 
I would like to look through my Bible once again to see if I can summon a demon who has the ability to translate everything. You summon a regular ketchup packet that does nothing. Nice stomp on that ketchup packet. No! I die, I die, no, I jump in front of it. Okay, okay. You attempt to stomp on the ketchup packet, but Max jumps in front of it, blocking the stomp. Yes. Good job. Someone touch another glyph. I'll touch a glyph. All right, you touch, you touch the statue and the statue gazes upon you. You're now the spitting image of your father. Oh my god, I'm a big Wait, man. He's, he's not a burger anymore, he's his dad? Uh, my father was. was a burger. Actually, no, my father was a cow. Are there any more glyphs? Uh, no. Just, uh, it's just a matter of interacting with the statue in any way. You're gonna get oh, a new trait. Right, let, me, let me interact with it then. I'm a new trait. Alright, you interact with the, the statue and the statue gazes upon you. Your mouth is now sewn shut. How does that feel? Just like me, dude. Just like me. <laughs> I try to convince Pookie to twerk on the statue. Don't have to tell me twice. Pookie, any resistance? No resistance. I'm down. Do I get another okay. trait for my cheats? Dude? You, you twerk on the statue it looks aroused somehow <laughs> uh, you uh, are vocally upset with the taste of a 7-eleven taquito okay, uh, I, 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 I don't know what to do should we open jerry's mouth we have knives <laughs> we've had our fun with the statue there's a door at the end of the room a gold light is bleeding through the perimeter of it would you like to approach it before i do that the whole I, time before i do that i would like to take out my knife and open up jerry's mouth okay you take your knife out and attempt to open Jerry's mouth, but instead cut Joker lips into him. His mouth is still sewn shut. Sorry, Jerry. Ew. Well, all right, let's go. <laughs> all right, group effort. Everyone agrees? Yep. I'm down. Okay, you approach the door. Before you can open it, the door swings itself open. It reveals the room. It's plated in gold. Ancient artifacts lie everywhere from cat vases, copper mugs, to little statues of Ross's mom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There are also four columns in the corners of the room with golden blender-like containers holding a different shade of brown in each of them. They're steaming. At the end of the room sits a sarcophagus in the sitting position on top of a gold throne. Something says this might be King Carmel. Otto chimes into your bracelets. Dancers, I just got a signal that there are high traces of caffeine wherever you are. Too much inhalation can result in irrational actions. If you're where you need to be, get the more Order and get out, you dumb, stupid idiots. I passionately kiss Ross. Ross, any resistance? I shank uh, Ross while he's not looking. <laughs> I, 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 no resistance. I, I'm too any enthralled of these? by the bean, I'm, I'm, the bean smell is getting to me. <laughs> Okay, uh, Max, you kiss Ross, and Pookie, you stab him in the back while they're making have, making a romance, uh, the, just doing that. Mouth love. Can somebody what? open Jerry's mouth? I can try. Use your claws. Oh, your Wait, little you're baby hands. stabbing me. I use my claws. Oh, your little baby hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I use my knife. Uh, okay. You take your knife and yeah. attempt to cut Jerry's mouth open. <laughs> and uh, you end up just making the Joker lips even wider. And somehow uh -huh. he's able to speak out these larger holes out the sides hey. of his cheeks. Yay! Jerry, you look hey. disgusting. <laughs> We're dancers. Let's just dance. Something could happen. That's just the name of the organization. I know, but we're that organization for a reason. This is why we do it. I want everyone to dance. Any resistance, anybody? I just tap my foot rhythmically. Can I break dance? Pookie? I, do, break dance. I do the classic twerk. I do the bump and That's grind. Horrible. Okay. Everyone does that except Max. Max, you are a terrible dancer. Ooh. I am. A, I am a, a cow. So uh, y'all, y'all begin to bust a move in the middle of this loot room. The coffin that's at the end of the room begins to shake violently, intensifying every time you blink. It starts Ooh. rattling the room, and debris shakes down from the ceiling. Suddenly, a fart is heard. Bras. That the wasn't me. The shaking stops. The sarcophagus door swings open. A mummy. 
decorated with golden ornaments rises out. He's holding a travel mug made from diamond. You can't move in fear. He walks over to one of the golden blenders and pours some of the liquid in his mug and sips it. He clears his throat and dust shoots out from his larynx. That mouth has had no action in scores. He begins to speak. Oh, hey guys. Hey, welcome to my pyramid. If you're ready to order, I can help you over here. He walks over to a random golden counter with an ancient Texas instruments calculator sitting on top. If you have any questions, please let me know. What would you like Todd to make you? That must be King Todd. It's King Carmel. I well, go over to King Todd. Carmel and I passionately kiss him. Just place an order, man. No. <laughs> you you I roll wanna, I want to order you a, a Carmel and you, kiss, you kiss him and he goes, well, uh, I've never experienced that before. Uh, can you please tell me what you would like me to make for you? I'd can like I shake Ross? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. You attempt to shag Ross, but there's already a knife in his back. I want to like place Ross. an order. Hey, Ross, what would you like to order? A raspberry iced tea. This is Spooky? a coffee place. Why, why would you uh, get your raspberry? <laughs> I'll take a hot chocolate. This is a coffee place. Where are we going to get this? Okay, Max. <laughs> uh, I'll just have a water. Okay, and Jerry. Just give me the coffee, man. I'll just <laughs> yeah. take a coffee. Yeah. Okay. No, give, me, give me a espresso, actually. Nice two shots of espresso. After all the orders are placed, Todd begins grabbing all different utensils from around the room. He takes liquid from each of the steaming blender containers and mixes them all in different ways for all of your made to order drinks. He pours them all into an in individual copper mugs for you and pushes them towards you on the counter. He says, this one's on me, gang. Thanks. I want to ask Todd if he's seen a mortar of life around here. He says, I don't know what you're talking about. I try to shank him. I threaten him with the blood on my face. You attempt to shank King Todd and your knife just bends in half as you go to stab him. But tell him it was just a, it was just a joke. It was just a prank, bro. <laughs> you tell him it's just a joke. He says, <laughs> the camera. good one. <laughs> I threaten him with my bloody face. You threaten him with your bloody face. He seems unfazed. All right. Can I punch hey. him? You go to punch him. It's a success, but it does no damage. Whoa. I want to drink my liquid. Anybody else want to drink their liquid? I want to drink Ross's liquid. I want to drink Ross's I'll liquid. liquid. I'll drink mine. Okay. I'm rolling for Ross, rolling for Pookie, rolling for Max, and neither of you drink Ross's liquid and grab at your own drinks instead. And as you go to grab your delicious beverages, Todd picks all the mugs up and splashes them in your faces, burning you for... Except Jerry. One damage okay. each and temporarily blinding you. Ow. Uh, but Dude. because Jerry had uh, resistance to hot liquids, he is unfazed by what just happened, but has broken out in more cool. hives. <laughs> <laughs> Todd isn't as friendly as we thought. He leans over the counter and yells, You really thought you could wake me from my thousand year nap and it would just be okay? What are you, nuts? Hazelnuts. I know you're in here for my precious mortar, but the bad news is you're not retrieving it. The worst news is I'm going to turn you into a decaf coffee with skim milk. Prepare to roast. <laughs> Todd telekinetically sucks all the liquid into the room into himself and becomes larger. He starts shaking the room with his laugh, you know, like how video games do it. He shapes his fingers into a gun and starts shooting bullets of caramel around the room. I passionately kiss him again because he's handsome. Okay. I'm gonna die. <laughs> You find him extremely attractive and go in for a kiss and plant it on him. For some reason, he takes one damage. I use Jerry as a shield and take cover. <laughs> I want to search the room. Hold on, hold on. Pookie, uh, you take you take cover behind Jerry. He is now a human meat shield for you. Ross? I want to search the room, see if I see anything out of place. You search around the room. Anything find nothing. King Carmel yeah. is in combat right now. You should probably fight back. Can I walk away from Pookie? <laughs> I want to walk I wanna... the, the guy to attack him. You walk away from Pookie. You're now on your own. And no longer a shield. <laughs> Guys, we have knives. How many knives do we have? Can I we start... lost mine. Oh, but I also like threw my knife at one of the, uh, the hyena things. Jekyll. I don't know if you picked that back up. Let's say you did. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to pull out that knife then and throw it at King Caramel. Okay, you take out your knife and throw it at King Caramel, but it deflects off of his gold ornaments. Can I use my watch to ask Otto, what do I do? <laughs> okay, you press your watch. 
uh, Otto comes in with a transmission. He says, uh, here, I'll, I'll help you out. And then just the bracelet shoots out a lightning bolt and hits Todd and does a critical hit to him. Oh, so oh that's pretty Maybe good. Maybe two more critical hits would bring him down. I try to convince Todd to join our also, cause. Nat 20 for that one, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice. I want to try to convince him to join our cause. You try to convince King Todd to join your cause, but he is too angry and continues to keep shooting caramel bullets at you. Instead, you take 20 damage from a caramel bullet. I want to do a little Swedish dance for uh, King Todd. <laughs> okay, you dance for King Todd. He is slightly amused, but still in combat. I push my bracelet and ask Otto to, to kill him. <laughs> ask you Otto to, to push your bracelet and ask Otto to kill him. And Otto comes in with a transmission. Can't you guys fight your own fights? I wanna, Why do I have to do everything for you? He shoots out a thing from the bracelet and it hits King Todd and, <laughs> and it does another critical hit. Let's go. I want to search my backpack and see what holy scripture I have. <laughs> okay, you search the backpack. You find the Book of Mormon. I want to throw it. <laughs> at Todd? Yeah, at Todd. Okay. You throw it at Todd. It hits him and does one point of damage. Guys, they did it. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I call Otto again. <laughs> Tell him to kill him. You press your bracelet once more and call Otto. He he just auto declines the call. <laughs> Somebody else do I it quick. I attempt to grab his diamonds cup or whatever and try to beat him to death with it. All right, you pick the diamond cup off the golden counter and beat him to death with it. It's a final killing blow to Let's King go. Todd with one final blow and the charisma of a Swedish schoolgirl, King Todd. Todd falls back into his throne tomb and the door oh. shuts. The desert dancers have succeeded once again. The Woo. throne spins Gosh. around, slowly revealing a shelf on it. There's a note and another translation sheet lies next to it. Oh, Quickly, it. Pookie, translate it. Okay, do that. Okay, you translate the sheet and it says yo todd i'm borrowing your mortar for a few centuries i'll bring it back i promise love dad oh well, that's that seems very anticlimactic as you stand around the room in awe you ponder what life actually is and if it's even worth continuing on from here but before you get stuck in your own existential crisis the ceiling of the room lifts up you're at the top of the pyramid a green light shines down on all of you and you begin to get sucked into a symmetrical round aircraft you rise into the ship it disappears into the speed of light to be continued quest God complete damn we defeated todd we did it congratulations i guess i'm alive hey i held on to my diamond mug i'm i'm happy <laughs> I, I got something i think oh, thank thanks. you dm dom thanks for, for doing this it out. i yeah, appreciate yeah, you man for dealing with the thank torture you. of this god bless you Good of job. course of course thank you again leave a like if you want part two baby we're powerful very powerful